A week ago, I purchased this battery by Small Rig. It was to supplement this battery by Canon. And yes, this Canon camera battery is pretty amazing. It is the LPE6HN, I believe. I could be off with some digits and some letters. It's like the C3PO, I don't know, the R2D2. They all have weird names. Why can't they just be like Cobra or Magnum or something? I don't know. It's just it's got to have something better than that. So this one from Small Rig was appealing and exciting and I did a video on that a week ago saying, "Hey, I am super excited about this battery." I did not use this battery a whole lot at the point of making that video. I dedicated to only using this battery for all my shoots last week. I shot about 26 homes and I noticed something early on and I realized I need to make this video because it's kind of a retraction from the last one. I wanna make sure you're getting a good value and you understand the facts. And after a few days, I realized something was definitely off from this compared to using this every single day for my jobs. And so here it is. Monday and Tuesday, I had about five shoots that I did and I realized that the battery level was a little bit lower than usual than when I shoot with this. I wasn't sure if it's because I just had more shots, the houses were a little bit bigger. And then I ended up shooting about eight houses in one day on Wednesday. And this battery did not last. Typically, this could last eight houses, even nine houses at a good size. This thing was dead. I had to move into a next battery after this. And the thing is, none of it was video. It was all photos and I was depleted by the end of the day and I had to move to my next battery. Maybe these numbers weren't correct by small rig. I know, shocker, right? Because a lot of you said that in the comments below that these are rated poorly. Now, this isn't my first third-party battery. I've owned third-party batteries before, including newer. And yes, they do fabricate the number on here. And I don't think it's that accurate because it says it has a larger charging wattage than this one yet it's not reflecting that in the real world. So there's gotta be something off. The appeal of this battery not only was the charge, but also the option of doing the USB-C charge on the go. And again, a lot of you reminded me that you can do that directly in the camera with the Canon R6, the R6 II, uh, the R7. You can charge those directly in there. Um, it just was kind of nice because on the go, you could just shove in a USB-C, so maybe Canon, future batteries, USB-C, that would be awesome. In order to do an accurate test, I set up my camera in my office, same lighting, same settings. I ran this from a fresh charge, so right off of the Canon charge of the wall, shoved it right into the camera, turned off all automatic IBIS and uh, the automatic focus. This is how long this got for that charge. It's 24 frames per second, it's in 4K fine, and it got this much time. An hour and 55 minutes is the length of this battery in 4K fine, 24 frames per second, and all those automatic settings off. Then I put the Canon battery in, freshly charged as well. Same settings, nothing changed, same lighting. Um, I may adjusted the camera that was on it, which was the Canon R7, just so I can get it more, you know, closer. In, this one got two hours and 22 minutes. So we've got an hour and 55, two hours, 22 minutes. That's 20% more power in the Canon than the small rig. And the small rig is rated higher than the Canon. So what is up with that? And it wasn't just because of that test and that outcome. It really had to do with a lot of real world experience. So as a real estate photographer, I noticed in these jobs that my battery was depleting just in photos pretty quick, and I didn't even use it for video last week. So you know what they say, buy nice or buy twice. So now I'm gonna be returning the two copies of this that I purchased through Amazon. I'm gonna buy at least one of these, if not two of these. Buy nice or buy twice, and that goes with cameras, that goes with SD cards, that goes with lenses, that goes with anything, especially if you're beyond a hobbyist. These companies need to get more serious and not just sell a bunch of things. I like small rig, I like their other tools, but um, just like this and newer and other companies, these third-party batteries do disappoint. 
The innovation with USB-C in it is great. So again, Canon, if you could do USB-C direct in here, right now we can put it in our cameras, plug in USB-C and charge these. But if you know the USB-C does offer more options with adapters on the go and we're all traveling in our car, so why not? The thing I really love about this channel and the community that it attracts is you guys. You guys are so open of giving your opinions, whether it is for what I'm saying or against what I'm saying, because I do listen to them. I read the comments, I research, and if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, and I'll admit that. And right now, I'm totally wrong. I should have bought nice, and now I gotta buy twice. Kinda stinks for me, but hopefully a lesson that I can teach you to not repeat. I will leave a link of the Canon version of this battery below, so if you're interested in purchasing it or getting a second copy, that link will be there. It does help support this channel. It doesn't cost you any extra. Um, but my opinion, strictly my opinion and my experience, do not buy a third-party battery. Third-party lenses are pretty good. They're awesome. This one, I cannot recommend a third-party battery. If you had an experience of not buying nice and now you had to buy twice, let me know. I'd be interested in what that was when it came to camera gear or computer gear. Check out these videos, subscribe, like, and you know, we'll see you in the next video.